tell the audience about yourself, your background, and how you got into the scouting industry? So I got truthfully very lucky. It, it wasn't something that I had necessarily planned on whatsoever. It was kind of fell into it as almost a last resort. I was an accounting major at Notre Dame graduating. This was back in 2012. And I would kind of just picked accounting because I didn't really, I wasn't that excited about school at the time and, you know, working and all those sort of things. And so I picked accounting kind of by default thinking I'd get a job. And then by the time it was my senior year, I, all I knew was I didn't want an accounting job. I hated accounting. I don't know why I picked it. And so I'm trying to do anything else in spring semester. I'm like, what, what could I even do? Uh, I was going to, I decided on becoming an actuary. Uh, and so I was taking actuarial exams. Uh, and I'm like, well, let's see if I can do something else in the meantime, because I had to pass like multiple tests and it was going to take like a few months afterwards. And I was a follower of Pro Football Focus and their stuff go to their website uh, and they were advertising for job openings. I'm like, Hey, maybe like this could be something I applied. They put me through the, what they call player participation practice uh, practices, which is just purely like uh, where did a guy line up on the field? Who was on the field? And I guess I was one of like the five more most accurate. And so <laughs> they needed people to do that. They hired me that fall to 2012. And uh, after I got that kind of, it was a part-time job at the beginning. I just said, I love this more than anything else in the world. I would work harder at this than anything else uh, I could do. Any accounting job, any actuarial job, I'm going to take this as far as I can. And well, it's taking me here now. That's good stuff. 